topic of this video is finding the domain, vertical asymptotes, and intercepts of the graph of a rational function. Let's look at a problem. All right, we are provided with this graph, and we have a lot of things to find. Uh, let's work from the easiest to the hardest. Let's begin with the intercepts. So intercepts come in two flavors, x and y. And an intercept is a point from your graph that is on the x-axis or on the y-axis. The graph is being shown here in blue. The red dashed lines are asymptotes, which are telling us what the blue curve is doing. So where are there points from the blue curve that are on the x-axis or on the y-axis? We can only see two such points, right here at 1, 0, and right here at negative 1, 0. So there are two x-intercepts. 1, 0, negative 1, 0. There are no y-intercepts. And the reason why is because we have a vertical asymptote sitting directly on top of the y-axis that is preventing the blue curve from reaching it. OK, the next thing would be the vertical asymptotes. So we can see that we have just one vertical asymptote. It is this vertical line sitting on top of the y-axis. And the equation of the y-axis is x equals 0. So our only vertical asymptote for this graph is x equals 0. This other dashed line is referred to as an oblique asymptote. That will be addressed in another video. And then finally, that brings us to the domain. So to determine the domain from a graph, one approach is to try to find the part of the graph that is the farthest left, the part of the graph that is the furthest right, and see if you can trace a path between those points. So this arrowhead is the part of the graph that is farthest to the left. This arrowhead is the part of the graph that is farthest to the right. Domain measures how far your graph goes left or right. So even though this arrowhead is pointing in two directions, left and up, the only part of it we care about is the left part, which means its contribution to the domain, left forever, would be negative infinity. This arrowhead is pointing down and right. Again, domain measures left or right. So we don't care about the down, we only care about the right. This is pointing to the right forever, so its contribution to the domain would be positive infinity. So our graph appears to go from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. But are there any missing values along that journey? Can we trace a path from this blue arrowhead to this blue arrowhead by moving along the blue curve without picking up our marker? And the answer is no. There is something that is blocking us from making this journey. And the thing that's blocking us from making the journey is this vertical asymptote. Where is the vertical asymptote located? Zero. So our domain consists of all real numbers except zero. And we have to write our domain so that we skip over zero. So our domain will be constructed as follows. Parenthesis negative infinity comma zero. Parenthesis union parenthesis zero comma infinity. This means that every value of x, every real number value of x is represented by this graph except for 0 because that is where our vertical asymptote is. Okay, so we have found the domain, vertical asymptotes, and intercepts of the graph of this rational function.